With the news about encounter cards this week, I kind of feel like I want to do a little throwback. It won't be exact, but... Eh? 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 Hi everybody, this is CVGS, I'm the captain here, and on this recap for the Vanguard livestream for 8th June 2021, we'll be looking at the reveals and sharing our collective thoughts on them. Someone called Gear Coracle because I think we just experienced a time leap, a flashback to 2011 back when Vanguard first started, because we got the news for Draconic Overlord and Phantom Blaster Dragon alongside their right lines in Overdress, and they are calling back to the skills that made them iconic in day one. For a long time, we've had these questions about encounter cards ever since they were announced, from their skills to the reasonings they've been included, which many have debated whether the inclusion this early in Overdress in DBT-02 was a good thing. We can now check off one of those questions on that list at least, and maybe more considering what we have seen from this week's release. We'll start with the right line for Phantom Blaster Dragon, and it includes Full Bar, Blaster Javelin, Blaster Dark, and Phantom Blaster Dragon. But wait! Why do we see Darkness Maiden Macha and Black Sage Karon on the graphic? Well, as it turns out, they are gonna be the direct support cards in this set with Phantom Blaster Dragon's right line. Their skills will be revealed as cards of the day, so do be sure to stay tuned for them on the socials. Fubal has the overdressed first Vanguard skill. When you ride this unit, if you went second, draw a card. I'll also throw in Lizard Soldier Undo here as well, since the first Vanguard for Draconic Overlord right line has the same skill. Blaster Javelin. When this unit is rolled upon by Blaster Dark, reveal the top card of your deck, and if it's a unit card, call it to Rhaegar Circle as rest, and discard it if it isn't. He also has a continuous skill. During your turn, if you have a Vanguard with Blaster in its card name, this unit gets plus 2000 power. Again with the continuous 2000 power? I'm not furnished with you! Blaster Javelin's skill surprisingly is very universally good across Overdress Standard and Premium, as we will see more often with the upcoming cards in this recap. Based on just seeing him have the Fault-like skill from Bastion's right line, and considering that these are Shadow Paladins, we get a good idea about what is to come. Blaster Dark, the classic Shadow Paladin. When this unit is placed on the Vanguard or Regard Circle by paying Counter Blast 1 and retiring another Regard, choose one of your opponent's Regards and retire it. And this unit gets plus 1 drive until the end of the turn. Continuous on the Regard Circle. During your turn, if your opponent's Regard was retired this turn, this unit gets plus 5k power. The rest of the unit that you call from Blaster Javelin is meant to be the sacrifice for Blaster Dark's skill, so they can get his twin drive when he attacks on the Vanguard Circle. The fact that you can also get the plus one drive on the Regard Circle is interesting to note. It caters to the player checking the Cater Sanctuary over trigger Amatinoa and allowing Blaster Dark to gain twin drive when he attacks. And just to put it out there, no. Blaster Dark does not drive check on the Regard Circle. He just gets a plus one drive and needs something to allow him to drive, just like the aforementioned over trigger. It's a good self-sustaining card in Overdress as well as potentially in Premium as well. I can actually see some players considering this if they're actually going with Persona Riding in Premium. And while we're on the subject of Persona Riding, Phantom Blaster Dragon is the new ace that we have for Cater Sanctuary and Shadow Paladin in that regard. When placed on Vanguard Circle, choose a card with Blaster in its card name from your soul and you may call it to a Vanguard Circle. And once per turn on the Vanguard Circle by paying Counter Blast 1 and retiring 3 of your Vanguards, Choose up to 2 of your opponent's regards, retire them, and this unit gets plus 10k power plus 1 critical until the end of the turn. I said at the top of the show, but what a callback to what Phantom Blaster Dragon used to do back in 2021. You can argue that it's more closer to Phantom Blaster Dragon in Vanguard Zero, but it's a better fit to say 2001 since these encounter cards are visions of the past in the timeline Overdress is set in on Planet Kray. In Overdress, this new right line for Cater Sanctuary has proven to be a good addition with Hexa Orb, Sorceress, and Bastion, while providing quite the alternative, albeit possibly less powerful option in Premium. So far, so good on these encounter cards. Now we move across the border to Dragon Empire and get a handle on the Draconic Overlord right line that has Lizard Soldier Undo, Embodiment of Armor Bar, and Dragonite Nehalem in it. The other encounter cards, Berserk Dragon and Dragon Monk Gojo, will be revealed as cards of the days, just like Macha and Karon. Embodiment of Armor Bar when rolled upon by Dragonic Overlord Nehalem by paying Counter Blast 1. Search your deck for up to one Great 1 card, reveal it and add it to your hand and shuffle your deck. Hmm, not sure if Conro found his way into Overdress or if Bar ate Conro. Bar also has the continuous skill on the Regard Circle. When your Vanguard's attack hits, this unit gets plus 5k power. 
Out of all of the versions of bar that we've seen throughout the past 10 years, this is probably the best of the bunch. Any Dragon Knight and Harlan that rides upon this bar can help fetch any great ones you want to fetch from your deck. Whether it be a PG, a boosting unit, or a specific one that allows you to get your combo going. Dragon Knight Nehalem is up next and I absolutely hate this so much. When rode upon by a unit with Overlord in its card name, call this unit to Regard Circle. And once per turn on the Regard Circle, if you have a Vanguard with Overlord in its card name, by paying Soul Blast 1, this unit and all of your Vanguards get plus 5k power until the end of the turn. You heard me correctly. All of your Vanguards get plus 5k power. This means that this Nahalim can power up both Draconic Overlord the Cross, the Legion version, and Draconic Overlord the End with plus 5k power. That's 10k power straight to the Vanguard Circle with both of them getting the plus 5k. The fact that Nahalim can activate on any unit with Overlord is a big addition to any Overlord deck in premium, let alone the overdressed version of Draconic Overlord. To be able to immediately ride up and then have it come out from the soul and use his skill to give that power to himself and the Overlord Vanguard or Vanguards is a wild skill and a must add for any Overlord deck. Now onto the main man himself, Draconic Overlord. Normally I cover the skill from top to bottom but I really 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 want to sell the continuous skill by putting it on last. Once per turn on the Vanguard Circle, when this unit's attack hits, by paying card plus 1 and discarding card from your hand, stand this unit and it gets minus 1 drive until the end of the turn. We know that Draconic Overlord will have his iconic restanding ability and we'll see it here in all of its familiarity. But the Continuous skill is what really knocks this out of the park. Because Continuous on the Vanguard and Rearguard Circle, when this unit attacks a Rearguard, your opponent cannot call units from hand to Guardian Circle. Hi everybody, this is Cap here, currently editing the video right now. Uh, it seems that uh, past me have forgotten to actually put in the uh, polls uh, that we put up every Tuesday and I wanted to make sure that we have these polls appear in the recap video. So I don't know why I'm going to chime this in but it seems that 57% of you out of 122 people are super hyped into Draconic Overlord as it makes sense. Um, so yeah, just... I want to make sure that this part of the video actually gets into the recap video. So yeah, I'll hand it over to pass me. Bye! What a way to imagine Draconic Overlord's skill. 10 years on, Draconic Overlord's skill has seen updates and different takes with its various different forms and remakes. But this version really honors the original version when it came out 10 years ago. I keep saying it because I don't know how to emphasize it any further. To look at these encounter cards really takes me back to 2001 when Vanguard first came. Vanguard, tamashi no kuwaki agaru meiji. So what do you guys think? Does your eternal flame for Overlord the Clan light up your passion? Or is the damn charging lance just the power you've been seeking for 3000 years? Leave your comments below. And we will be part of the live conversation with us on Overdress and Vanguard. We're on Twitch for the Tuesdays live streams and Wednesdays for our discussion streams on YouTube. So be sure to follow us on Twitch for our gaming live streams, slam that like and subscribe button, and ring the ding the bell so you can be notified of all of our videos when they release, be it for Vanguard or Battle Spirits. Be sure to follow us on all of our socials. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We also have a Discord as well where you can find myself, Leon, and Dempster on most nights. If you like what we do here and want to support us directly, you can join our membership where you can be like Wen Hao Law, Daddy Agrieto, and Samuel McKay and have access to our meme emotes and badges during our premieres and live streams. So with that said, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!